Yeah, what's here, brother KJ? We have another reaction video. No cat today. We got three true doppelganger horror story anime. You know what I'm saying? Before we get away, make sure like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get into the last one. No cat, bro. This Let's see this, bro. A while ago, when I was about nine years old, okay, it was an early morning around dawn when I suddenly woke up to see a tall, strange figure standing over me. What the he fuck? Must have been watching me while I was asleep. All right. It had a blank, pale face, but it still looked like a real person, and it looked exactly like my mom. The figure was wearing a blue bathrobe, something like my mom used to wear during the winter. So I figured my mom was maybe sleepwalking for the first time and came into my room during her dream. And just stood, stared at you. I was so startled, so I said to my mom, What are you doing in my bedroom? I'm going to bed. You just scared me. But she didn't reply. Yep, better start she swinging. Just kept staring at me. Better start so swinging. I my mom another confused look and just went back to bed. Thinking that if she's sleepwalking, she'll eventually leave my bedroom and go back to bed. My eyes were closed for a second before I turned around again. Because I felt like someone was still standing behind me. But the figure ended up being gone. Yeah, I didn't go loud or ran out the crib, bro. I walked around my room because I didn't hear my bedroom door open or close. Meaning it wasn't my mom and whoever it was, it wasn't sleepwalking. The person didn't even exist. A few days later, I told my mom. A few days? About why she was in my bedroom at 6 a.m. When I obviously was sleeping, but she had no idea what I was talking about. That don't even look she like your mom. She never came into my bedroom, and that she had never sleepwalked in her entire life. So I told her about this strange figure that was watching me while I slept, and dressed in her bathrobe, and then it disappeared after I acknowledged its presence. She didn't really think anything of it. She just laughed it off and blamed it on my eyes must be getting tired. My mom always insisted that our home wasn't haunted. Yeah, yeah, it's a definitely haunted, bro. On top of a historical ground. She's really spiritual, like into tarot card readings and psychics and manifestations. So she must not have wanted to give in to the evil side. Makes but sense. That experience never left me. And my mom has now told me that I used to sit on our staircase and have conversations with the little boy and girl as a child. Yeah, you're possessed. Many stories about people supposedly talking to their family members, but they're really communicating with a demon in disguise. And I fully believe that the same thing happened to me that night. Oh yeah, that's fucked. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, that's fucked.